let's come back we have already learned the differences between electrochemical cells and electrolytic cells now your actual electrochemistry starts here they're going to ask you what is galvanic cell or voltaic cell direct equation suppose and give one example with that done how is it represented or uh, represent the paper or as are you pack uh, this in convention simple question there's no confusion in this done first basic information is always anode the electrons are going to flow from anode to cathode that is oxidation always occurs at anode and reduction always occurs at cathode simple logic done so now suppose if i have an electrolytic cell done what am i going to take i'm going to take under anodic electrode i'm not drawing the diagram and the anodic electrode i'm going to take the uh, the rod electrode rod as zinc and this is your uh, electrode electrode and along with that i'm going to take an electrolytic solution electrolytic solution the sol this one of that solution of that that is zinc sulfate and the cathode i am going to take the electrode which electrode i am going to pick a copper this time so the electrode here is copper and the electrolytic solution the corresponding one is copper sulfate now they are asking you to write what is galvanic cell i have already written what is galvanic cell it is a conversion of chemical energy to electrical energy so let us write that first so first point galvanic cell is a device i'm showing you how to write it in the exam device use which is which is used to convert chemical energy to to electrical energy okay this is also over which i already learned now they are asking me to write the representation so simple thing whenever you are writing the electrochemical cell representation always start from anode and then end with cathode in between these two you have the representation of the salt bridge which is represented by double line salt bridge <coughs> which is permeable to ions so in ions let's start how to write so we are going to write cell representation in the exam they ask you write the electrochemical cell representation a cell representation simple so suppose if i take directly with the electrolyte see here i can write like this zinc put a single line put zinc sulfate oxidation oxd salt bridge right done now what should you write you have to write copper start with copper single line copper sulfate reduction this is one way of writing suppose if i have to write in ionic form zinc what happens to zinc zinc always because anodic compartment it has to lose electrons zinc loses two electrons and forms zn plus 2 plus 2 these two electrons from the anode are carried to the cathode what will happen the copper which is there at cathode which is electron deficient is going to pick up these two electrons and becomes copper metal done let's write now zinc what ion has it formed zinc ion so write down simple zn where did it got convert it got convert from zinc to zn plus 2 put a line zn plus 2 now salt bridge is already there copper cu what happened to copper from cu plus 2 so look here zinc to zn plus 2 zinc to zn plus 2 cu plus 2 to cu it has gone to convert it to cu plus 2 to cu then this is your salt bridge further i can also write now uh, if i have to write in iupac uh, convention or further write see here zn by zn plus 2 1 molar this is your 1 molar okay double uh, salt uh, salt bridge copper by copper 1 okay this is not 1 molar this is 1 molar isn't it the ions will be 1 molar One molar and Cu. If you still have to write this zinc by Zn plus two concentration double uh, salt bridge by copper both the ions together Cu plus two concentration by copper. So this is these are the different ways of writing representing the cell notation. Suppose if I have to write generally without any thing without any example general reaction. What do I write? M by M plus N constant salt bridge. So let us say this is M one. Then next M two the copper.